Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In India, the villagers of Paramalapadu have found and excavated an ancient temple, which, for the past 80 years was under a layer of sand. It is believed that it was built about 200 years ago. The elders said, the sanctuary was completely buried under a layer of silt and sand when the Pena River changed its course. It happened so quickly that the locals did not have time not only to save the temple itself, but also to remove the relics from it. And only now, on their own initiative, have the villagers excavated the temple. By the way, during the excavations, the villagers came across a statue of Shiva. The find has already attracted the interest of scientists. You can see that they didn't dig up the whole temple, but only the top of it. How deep would a river have to be to bring the whole temple, and for what reason did it change its course? In 1920, Edward Litzkalnin bought a plot of land and built Coral Castle on it. He made, transported, and installed the huge concrete blocks, weighing 30 tons each, by himself, by night, by lantern light. When questioned, he replied, I learned how the Egyptians and ancient builders in Peru, the Yucatan and Asia, use primitive tools to lift and install stone blocks weighing many tons. He took this secret with him to his grave, leaving scientists to continue puzzling over the mystery. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. I was reminded of Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. It's a funny fairy tale for children, quite famous, and I think most people have heard of it. Except that it was about 40 to 45 years ago when I was a kid. Now I see huge doors, engravings of giants, majestic buildings, and the thought creeps in, did the author really make up this fairy tale? Or was it all real? Also in the story, there is a line, we thought it best to stick to the old direction, rather than deviate more to the north, as in doing so, we could be carried to the northwestern regions of the Great Tattery. Or the Arctic Sea. So, think now. Finding Against History. Lakes Drained in China. The floating dragon caves were discovered after pumping water into a lake thought to be bottomless. The discovery of man-made structures completely contradicts history. The entrance to the underground structures was made thousands of years ago. Presumably, the caves were created during the Qin Dynasty, in other words, in 221 BC. The average area of each of the 24 caves is more than a thousand square meters. The technology of excavations of such volume remains unknown. And in the historical sources, there is not a single word about the construction or about the very existence of the caves. At the bottom of Lake Tiberias, or Lake Kinneret, in Israel, a stone pyramid was accidentally discovered. Its size is impressive, 10 by 70 meters, and its weight is not insignificant, 60,000 tons. 
In our time there are very few ships, which weigh as much. If not to believe in ancient divers, the pyramid is not less than 4,000 years old, after this date, the lake is well traced in history, it does not become shallow and does not dry up, how to build here. Even by the standards of the officials, this means that in ancient times, there was a highly developed civilization on the territory of Kinnard. Who else could have built a structure of this size without the help of special equipment? The matter is complicated by the fact that no such civilization has ever been heard of here. Yes, there were settlers, but there were still a couple of thousand years before the exodus of the Jews from Egypt, and the secrets of pyramidal construction had not yet been revealed. Darwin's Theory We are often told that humans evolved from apes, even demonstrating a similarity in skull structure and 98% similarity in DNA. But not once have historians found transitional forms, because if man has gone through many stages of evolution, then there must be plenty of remains of transitional forms from ape to man. Another funny thing is that our DNA also matches 98-99% to with a pig, so maybe we are descended from pigs, according to the logic of scientists. But as we know, in all our conscious time, not a single monkey or pig has ever evolved into a human being. The photo shows the Sabu disc from the Cairo Museum. Officials think it is a vase, although no IKEA has ever seen anything like it. Okay, let it be a vase, but how was it made 5,000 years ago? Without CNC machines, without diamond nibs and drills, a token made of stone, with a cylindrical protrusion in the middle, where the wall thickness is accurate to the millimeter, and the finest stone blades are perfectly symmetrical, and contain not a single tool mark. The second question is, why, with such a magnificent level of workmanship, other mummies were deprived of such a remarkable creation? Or did they have one single master for the whole Egypt, who died of happiness after creating the vase, and took all the secrets of craftsmanship with him? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.